everyone, it's me, Diamond, and... Hi, everybody, it's Tina. And... <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind that. Um, it's us from Happy Mail from the Heart, and we had a question on if we could show how well this... Sorry, working backwards here. Works. It's called EK, EK Tools, and it's the Curvy Cutter Swirl Decor Maker. We got, and I also got the Kirby Cutter Ornament Maker, so we're going to do that. And then Diamond and I are going to figure out this one also. That one looks easy. But anyways, so I came over because I pick up Allie here and Bubba here. And Mom was like, I have no idea what I'm doing. I need your artistic genius mind. Help me out. So here we are. Um, she, there's this little candy cane shaped thing. Well, it's not really a candy cane. It's kind of just... This is know. the blade. Yep. And she's going to show you how to do that real quick. This one I don't care for. I mean, um, it's a neat tool, but I don't like how I have to do it. So it's the best way I'll show you. See this little bottom? I'm sorry, guys. You have the blades on top, and you got this little, right there, I don't know what, inch. You got to line up, and on here, I don't know if you can see, there's little triangles in that little square right there. So you put it on your paper, and you got to take this part right here and get it into this side with the blade on the outside. So she's going to cut those real quick. And then, meanwhile, over here, I'll show you because she's just going to cut them. Hold on. No, I want to show them. Just give okay. them the hands real quick. So you gotta get it cooked in, and you go like this around. It, I mean, it's it's okay, but the, this is what I don't like. You get to the corner, and you gotta clip it off and move it. And make sure you don't let go, because if you slip and you're off, you start all over. And again. But I did this one. And sometimes it's all in your pressure too if you get it, get it cut through. So I've been not trying to still learn. So I end up using my itty bitty scissors. Martha suit scissors, which are amazing. I know you bet. We're getting dull again. I'll have to add sharp of them. Amanda Elderberry from Canada showed these awesome little scissors. I'm like, oh, I wish I could find some like that. And I even. I'm going to rewatch her video and write down who makes those scissors. Because okay. they're like this, but they're, they're thinner on a tip. I think we like them better. I'm hoping it's not a can. It's, a, it's a, something I can get in the States. Okay. See? I didn't put enough pressure so not to go. I mean, I could go like this for the time, and I guess, but sometimes scissors. I look like this, and I can understand why people like that scan and cut versus using these tools. And I like memory makers. So that's why, I, I mean, I paid $233 on clearance. They're originally $649. I would have not have bought them otherwise. I will tell you that one for sure. But it's a bow maker. Yeah. There's just clearance things I thought. What the heck? So anyways, real quick. So she's cutting that out. So, so far, I have this already almost done. What you do is you cut out nine of these shapes. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then I'll have eight and nine. So you put it on top. Okay. So I already made... How many more? I need one more black. So I made my circle already, halfway there, and you take the black part, well, whatever color it is, and there's like a little notch, see how this kind of bends down versus this one part staying up, and you tuck it, oops, I think it's down, so you tuck it in, don't mind me, I gotta peel it out because I glued it down because I thought it was good, so you tuck it down, I did this wrong. So you... <laughs> <laughs> My little... There we go. So you tuck it in. Kind of like... Why is this not working? Oops. 
Let's see what I did. I glued them all down and I should have known. We should have been smarter did one and then video taped one. <laughs> okay, so I figured it out. So anyway, so you take your little whatever you want to call this shape. It reminds me kind of a candy cane, but like a double candy cane. And you tuck it under the last one you put it on. So there's like a notch, it kind of slides in. And you just gotta kind of mess with it a little because you're supposed to make it into one giant circle so it works. So you can flip it and then over. So glue it down. Not the whole thing, just that piece because I accidentally glued it down, hence why we had to pause. And obviously press and seal. So then you take your next piece. Sorry, I'm gonna glue it away so I can see what you're doing so I can do it. Then you just tuck it down, bring it around, and it's going to start folding up on you because you're making kind of like a pinwheel. So then glue it down. Alright, so I got my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need one more piece, Mom. And here it is, which is the black one. I have two blend of black and a roll. And then That's how it happens because you only have two colors and it's an odd number. Oh, um, okay. So I should have did like three. Three colors? So, yeah. So glue it down. Alright. And now make sure this is all good. So Thank then you. you got this funky looking little art glitter glue. Circle. One of the best glues out there, everybody. So then you flip it over. All right, and then you just start all over again. And tuck it. Oh. And then you would glue, and then you move to your next piece, and you glue, and then you go to your next piece, and you glue, and so on and so forth. I'm going to pause it. I'll do one real quick, and then I'll pause. And then I'll come back after I finish. So, like that. So then it would look like that. Fold it over. Alright, so I'm going to pause and I'll come back when I'm done. Alright, so I saved the last piece. So one thing I noticed with your piece, a simple thing to remind yourself is up and over and tuck. So up, over, tuck. Up, over, tuck. Just keep telling yourself that. A little Hi. glue. <laughs> and then, there you go. Except it's kind of lopsided. How did you manage the hat? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I see what I did. I forgot to glue a piece. <laughs> Mom, you know you're not in the video. Yep, that's fine. Thank you, Allie. <laughs> Still. So, huh. so kind of looks like a giant candy. Would you? I don't know. My recommendation, what's yours? You what? My, what's your recommendation on it? Yeah, it's cool, you know. With practice? But like, I'm sure with practice I can get it to stay actually straight up. Because mm -hmm. you see how it kind of slants. It's cute though. I don't know if that's because, you know, some of the pieces are shorter or whatever, because when you tuck it in, you kind of have to go on your judgment. Mom. So. But essentially, because this is my first one that I really messed up. It's a fan now. It's yep. so pretty. I mean, if I had nine more pieces, I could probably make it a full, huge lantern. Kind of tempted to do that. So, but, um, I mean, out of a five, maybe like a two. Mom, 
My recommendation is I like it, except that I have to lift the blade up and move the blade. I just can't go all the way around it. Other than that, it's an okay tool. It did get me, I did cut myself when I tried to get the blade up. It came at me. But that, that would be the only thing on this one. Yeah. It's the fact you have to match, you know, like it says, the little arrows here in the blade and then lift. And that's only, and, it, and I'm thinking, as you use this, that if you do the outside and go around and you stop and you reposition, you don't necessarily have to remove your blade. If you keep going like this all the way around and then move it, because it's only so you can get into the tip. I ended up cutting most of it because I couldn't match it up. Mm -hmm. So I had, to, I had to snip in there with my scissors. But that is the only thing I didn't like about this one. If if you know how to make a pinwheel, you know, like for like a pinwheel card or something, because that's essentially what it is. Up and over tuck, like you do on a pinwheel card, if you make pinwheel cards, we have. So, but essentially that's all it is. It's a pinwheel with the paper still attached, and then you made the pinwheel at top. But you can kind of see where I messed it up a little. See, the links aren't the same, or as neatly tucked as this side. So. But, but that is it for this one. Now we're going to punch with the other one and we'll let you know how well that goes. So we'll do a part one and a part two. So This is part one. Alright, well thank you. See you in a little bit.